Hi guys, Office Bloke Dave here. And I'm Ash. Together we are Office Bloke Dave and uh, Penis Nose. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Silly face over here. Mm, there you go. <laughs> uh, what are we doing? Reacting to some music and blowing my mind. Blowing your tiny little mind. My tiny little mind. Um, we're going to react to a bit of Ren because the amount of Ren songs you've heard is very limited. It is. It's like um, three. And one got me super, super emotional. I struggled like for a couple of days after that. That was for Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Great tune. Um, I was talking at, at a barbecue this weekend and I was talking about Ren with my bro. Yeah. And he said Ren is like an absolute... He said he makes amazing music, absolute masterpieces, but he was like, I just never have the urge to listen to him. And I was like, well, it's because you've heard the wrong songs. Yeah. Maybe you've just heard High Ren. It's 10 minutes long. You know, it's theatrical. Maybe you need the bangers. Yeah. So then after loads of beers, the kids are sat here. Everyone's sat here. We had YouTube on. And I put on Losing It, the <gasps> Fisher rap pre oh, uh, And I was like, and then he goes, uh, like, sick boy, bad motherfucker. <gasps> and the kids are sat there and I went, sorry. <laughs> 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 It's just too much beer. What can oh, I say? come on. There's a photograph of me and my dad's bar. I think I was probably about seven or eight. And that was like my, literally me sat in my pajamas with headphones on, sat at my dad's stereo, listening to um, Don't Want No Short Dick Man. And I, do, I just look wow. really confused. I just like, I'm like, what? <laughs> I'll have to show you the photo sometime. We, we bought, uh, I probably my bro bought Killing Me Softly by the Fugees on tape yeah. when it first came out. And the B-side to that on the tape was Cowboys by the Fugees. And I don't know if you've heard that song, but we went on a family holiday and there was a tape player in the caravan we were staying in. It's like one of these big, you know, like uh, trailers, sort yes. of single wide trailers. And I uh, put it on and I've never seen my dad pull a tape out of a tape player so fast <laughs> and be like, absolutely no chance are you having that language on a family holiday. Really? <laughs> he see, lost it. He went out. See, my mad. dad had good sense of humour. Like, he didn't mind it being, it, like, if it was in the bar. And, like, you remember Smokey, like, who the fuck is Alice? Like, the other side of Smokey's, you know. Right. Living next door to Alice. Alice! Who the fuck is Alice? So dad would let that play. We just weren't allowed to say it or sing it. We weren't mm. allowed to use that language in the house. But if it came on as a music, my dad was like, whatever. It's a song. <laughs> I was like... Well, we're talking a lot of pants here, so what we're going to do is actually play a tune. Yes. This is Ren Genesis, which I've reacted to on my own a few months back, and uh, I'm very happy to be showing it to you. Sweet. I love Ren. Are you ready for it? Yes. Let's do it. Ren Genesis. Mushy peas, such a British thing. It's so weird. I love mushy peas. When I'm by myself, I find my mind starts drifting somewhere else. It's not inside this dimension, it's definitely somewhere else. I wrestle with my thoughts, constant wrestle with my mental health. I'm put on life support, I've been put upon a high shelf. My whole life I've been fighting This cake it don't have icing These mantras I'm reciting They're meant to keep me sane I don't know if they're working Cerebral cortex hurting Maybe it's all learning Maybe it's cause life is a lottery What's an anomaly? Sometimes it's riches and sometimes it's poverty Sometimes your nerves have been fried by neuropathy Begging the surgeon to have a lobotomy Honestly, I'ma speak honestly Honestly, life is ironically fucking me chronically I have been illing myself and it bothers me License for killing myself, call me Connery Ah I'ma be straight with you now I'ma go straight for the heart People dilate in the dark People dilate in the dark No one was late for the art Hmm, no one was late for the art Genesis rain in the rain when it start Genesis pain in the art Genesis aim for the heart Genesis really appreciate the chorus um, but I need to pause here that's fine that opening was incredible like when he's talking about the necropathy like fucking like his life is fucking him and then asking and begging the doctor for a lobotomy is he's just so good with words he, he nails it every single time and is like explaining like how hard life can be and how obviously how much he's suffered mm -hmm. and he does it so poetically do you think begging the doctor for a lobotomy is like a chemical lobotomy, like um, medication for his mental health? Maybe? Quite possibly. But you are, you're, you're wanting the detachment because that was the whole point of what a lobotomy was, was to detach you from the, the over-emotions. 
you know, the things that you couldn't control. That was a lot of the time they gave lobotomies were to patients they couldn't handle or control. It was hysteria. Basically. But also, in general, men got it quite a lot really? as well. Really? Yeah. So anyone who was put into what they called the loony bins back in the day, obviously, um, <laughs> um, obviously, had were forced into being lobotomized. Yeah. So it's it, it's most commonly women because that's how it started, but it did become a thing to deal with psychotic men, which is pretty horrific. Yeah. But I do I, I appreciate like how poetic he is about it. Let's go for this chorus again before I sneeze. <laughs> I'm by myself, I find my mind starts drifting somewhere else It's not inside this realm of thought, it's definitely somewhere else Wage war upon my demons, I've been knocking on the gates of hell A heretic, a heathen, I've been screaming in this padded cell It's pain making my pain waking, it's painstakingly cold My soul aching, my bones breaking when holding on to control Wrap yellow tape round the body shape, put the body in the bag, zip close it's malignant, it's mutating, it's such a sight to behold Uh-huh, mm-hmm Let me be real for a second, mm-hmm Tongue is a gun, it's a weapon, hmm Reload, blah, blah, that mm-hmm Beast mode, armor, get him, get him Let me take the wheel for a second Hit a hoop, lash a kilo, kneel with aggression Regroup with a three-point steel and succession Switch swoop and I'm making them feel the profession Making them feel the profession Making them feel the profession Time is the author, the lesson Time is a murderous weapon Time is a curse and a blessing Time is confined in the eye of my mind It reminds me the life is just slipping right by Take my piece of the pie and I'm feeding on wine That I'm freedom in rhyme to defy my depression I'ma be straight where you're now I'ma go straight for the heart People die late in the dark People die late in the dark No one was late for the art mm. No one was late for the art Genesis rain in the rain when it start Genesis pain in the art Genesis aim for the heart Genesis Absolute banger. Yeah. I, I he's just he gets it so right because he's talking about something so deep, but I feel like I want to be like bumping and grinding at the same time and yeah. like proper rocking out to the music. But even hit like that second part after the first chorus when he starts talking about like how time is the limitation and obviously he's like wrapped in this padded cell and he's very aware that time is so short and that yeah. it's become this big conundrum and obviously his life like has he got enough time has he not got enough time i, I really enjoyed that he's a uh, a guy that although I, I like i relate to a lot of what he says because i think he's only a few years younger i think he might be like 31 32 oh okay something like that there's a lot of things he says and topics he talks about that i relate to but the whole style is so alien to me and uh, i had a mate that dressed like that was a musician made this kind of cool alternative music that I wouldn't mind betting would be like Ren levels nowadays. Really? Yeah, his dad was a masked, famous musician. Cool. We'll say. Um, but he's like quite a lot younger than me. And first met him when he was eight years old. And I was skating with all my mates. And he just came along and started, already had a broken arm, just sort of throwing himself off our ramps that we were skating on. I'm like, he was a fucking lunatic. And then we, yeah, uh, like, uh, I think he was eight came to one of our parties and his dad actually came with him and handed him through the basement window and he came and partied with us all all night and uh, he was such a legend but he dressed in that sort of style it was very much like that skins I don't know if you've ever watched it but no but when I first moved over here people <clears throat> obviously when I was getting introduced to the country my aunt said that they were scallywags yeah we were the ones well, the who tuck is, their tracksuit bottoms into their socks that is the scally style when we were young that's the guys all rob you that dress like that but now it's been sort of co-opted by this alternative sort of group of people that are creatives and stuff mm. I think it's cool I like it but like like I say, I, I think I, I don't get tucking your tracksuit buttons into your socks, nor do I get wearing socks with sandals. But I, each to their own. That that kid I'm talking about, I think, was gonna do big things, like Ren level big things, I think, but he got killed. Oh. Uh, he got hit by a, a car while he was on his bike in oh, Russia. Gosh. 
And uh, like I say, his dad was famous. Yeah. And he was sort of doing, he wore a mask when he was on stage as well. And uh, really cool sort of like, Ren feels a little bit for me. But yeah, went too soon. But it's just that style, especially with that video, how he was dressed. Yeah. It's like, even though I relate to him so much, if I left the house dressed like that, I'd, be, I'd get laughed at. But like, there seems to be this kind of cool subculture of like, evolving, yeah. People that can dress like that and it's cool and artistic and stuff. I did have a scally phase where I dressed like a scally though for a bit. I, I can't wear a tracksuit, like a matching tracksuit, because all I think about is school athletics. And we used to get into our team tracksuits and then warm up. So no, I can't do the tracksuits, not me. <clears throat> I don't suit them either. I don't think I look good. No, I don't think you would either. It's good. I like me some lycra. <laughs> but all girls, that's just made me think of that Yoga meme. Pants. Go into the shops, wear lycra. <laughs> Right. I like I say I've heard that tune before. Really it's only the second time I've heard it though, and uh it's it's a great tune. It really is. I'd love to just take that chorus and have it as an alarm clock in the kids' bedroom and not tell them. <laughs> and then like seven in the morning. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> <laughs> just no context at all. No, what we need to do is like hide a speaker in there and play the you know, the frog ding 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 just wake them up with that. You're showing your age there. No one that watches us knows what that is. It's all young, cool people. No, there were some older people in the comments. They, they get me. They get me. <laughs> <laughs> Please think I'm cool. <laughs> Cheers for that one, I guys. Cool. <laughs> Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and we'll see you soon. See you guys. <laughs> <laughs>